hello guys welcome to the ninth video of this tutorial series android application development using kotlin in the last video we were talking about architecture patterns now in this video we are going to discuss our first type of architecture pattern which is mbc mainly model view and controller pattern so as i said the entire code base is divided into three parts model view and controller what does the model do the model is actually a data layer responsible for managing the business logic and handling network or database API. Suppose you have a database, a student database where you have name, roll number, address, phones and everything like this. The variables for those student database are actually represented in your model class. Your view is actually the UI layer which is a visualization of data from your model. And your controller is a logic layer which actually has all these embedded logic which gets notified of the user's behavior and also updates the model as per needed. So to get an overall picture as you can see here you have a view, a model and a controller. What a model does is a model notifies the controller about any kind of changes in the data. The controller then updates the view associating those changes from the model again if we want our model to be updated from our view we can send user action from our view to the controller and then the controller is going to update the model so there is no direct communication between the view and the model everything goes via controller so this is actually the passive form of mvc in active form of mvc any classes can be controlled by any other classes so we're going to be implementing a passive form of MVC here and in our project implementation there are going to be three classes a student class as a model a student controller as a controller class and main activity as our view so let's go into coding here I've created a new project um, so at first I'm going to create my model class so for that let's go in our package right click new and kotlin file class let's select class and write the name student here if you have done this in java you might remember that we create a model class creating variables associated to it and then defining getters and setter methods for them but in case of kotlin there's a special feature called data class which we, which we are going to use so once a data class has been associated, we don't need to define any getter setters here. So it's kind of easy for us. Let's declare the variables. We're just going to play with two variables for now. One is roll number. Let's keep it string. And then the other is name. Let's keep it string too. And uh, one difference between the var and val that we have been using. So what val is is val is actually an equivalent of final in java so once any variable is declared a val the value cannot be changed later on but var is just a variable so that's the difference between var and val now the data class is done we're going to create a controller class now again kotlin file class let me give a name student controller so I'll have two parameters here a var model for my student model class and a var view from my UI class that is of a view class or UI class that is main activity I'm going to have some functions here one get student name and I'm going to receive this as a string variable so return model dot oh, okay, comma. dot name okay I give a I give a capital and okay let me 
okay let's call them so model.name let me define another one fun get student roll number again string value I'll return model dot roll number I'm going to define a setter also for this one so fun set student name and my parameter here is going to be a name in the form of string model dot name equals to name and similarly a set student roll number roll string model dot roll number equals to roll now I'll have one method here which is fun update view so I'm going to update my view from my controller if we want to get any data from our database or somewhere else we get it from a student class to the student controller and then we're going to update the view now view now from this final method here so update view no parameters needed let's just say view dot let's define a function print details and let's give the values model dot name and model dot roll number so we want to print out these values now let's create this method we want this method to be created in our main activity so create member function in main activity okay before doing that what I would like to do is since our activity underscore main is already defined I would like to write I'd like to define model equals to sorry model type student equals to let me get data from DB or database I'll define this as a function and then the other is var view equals to let me initialize a constructor for main activity here and also a constructor for my controller equals to student controller I need two variables as you know I need a student model and a view so that I'm going to give a student model and a view Let's define this function here too. So we, we are going to retrieve some data. Uh, since we have not done any database thing thing until now, so the data is going to be static static for now. But later on, uh, we are going to get some some data from database and then implement it in in maybe MBC or upcoming MVP or MVVM pattern. So let's just return the data. Uh, return student. I can just initialize a constructor and then the data can be called. I need to give a name oh no roll number at first sorry 10 and then a name at last so the name can be John now I need to update my UI from here so let me just print it in my log for now log dot student uh, name equals to name similarly roll number equals to roll number one way communication from model to updating our view is done via controller i would like to also send a request from the view to the controller and then change the value in the model and also update the ui too so let me go to activity underscore main my layout file 
it's a relative layout uh, I, I need to create a button here wrap content wrap content uh, id maybe btn and a text let's just write update for now okay let me go back to my main activity class uh, i have a btn button dot set on click listener on click listener and from here i can call controller dot set student name now i'm changing my values in the model let me write math and controller dot set student roll number maybe 20 okay the application is done this is a simple illustration of mvc so i'd like to explain it again how this works so your main activity is a view okay your main activity is a view so at first we, we are just printing our data from our model and then retrieving it in our view so we first initialize our data those data are going to be retrieved by a controller first so those data are going to come here as a controller they're going to be set here as name and roll number and after that okay we've not used getter but we've only used setter it seems so yeah we've not used getter we've directly accessed accessed our values here so okay it's fine anyways it is updated from here and later on whenever we're changing changing our data from the view itself we first send our request to the controller and then the controller updates our model using these setter methods so i hope you understand this uh, in the upcoming video we're going to do a few more examples in mvc and then after that we are going to go to our mvb pattern so if you guys have any problem do comment down below and i'll try to address the problem and stay tuned and stay connected uh, we're going to cover much more in the upcoming videos uh, i have plans to to take you from mbc to mvp and then mvvm and also to reactive android i'm going to end this video here i'll see you in the upcoming video thank you